BestBookBits.com presents The Art of Exceptional Living by Jim Ron. Make your life a work of art. You don't have to be a super achiever. You don't have to be usually creative. You don't have to endure great obstacles. You don't have to do exceptional things at all. Just do ordinary things exceptionally well. That's the art of exceptional living. There are things you can, should, and must do to get your life on track to success. You may not be aware of it, but they are already in your heart. In The Art of Exceptional Living, Jim Rohn provides the ideas and inspiration that lead to unstoppable daily progress. Using his exceptional powers of communication, he helps you through difficult subject matter and teaches you how to get beyond personal setbacks to begin living according to your own rules. The written summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring you the book summary of The Art of Exceptional Living. Ideas can be life-changing. Sometimes all you need is one more in a series of good ideas. Be thankful for what you already have. Don't be a follower. Be a student. Make sure what you do is the product of your own conclusion. Fundamentals are important building blocks of success, the basics. There are no new fundamentals. All the fundamentals are old and established. All the fundamentals are old and established. Happiness is a joy that most often comes as a result of positive activity. It is both the joy of discovery and the joy of knowing. It is a result of the awareness of a full range of life. It is the joy that comes from designing a life and practicing the fine art of living well. Discipline. It is the bridge between thought and accomplishment, the bridge between inspiration and value achievement, the bridge between necessity and productivity. Whether or not you start or whether or not you continue are all that are important. Success. It is both a journey and a destination. It is both a journey and a destination. It is both the steady, measured progress towards a goal and the achievement of a goal. Each person's personal philosophy is the major factor in how your life works out. Failure is a few errors in judgment repeated every day. A few errors in judgment repeated every day. Formula for success, a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Study is a key word for life change. If you wish to be successful, study success. If you wish to be happy, study happiness. Happiness is not an accident. It is a st- First, a study, then a practice. When you find a good idea, capture it. Don't rely on your memory. Write it down and record it somewhere. Learn from your own life. Make your own life one of the most important studies. Be sure to study the negative as well as the positive. Our failures serve us well when they teach us valuable lessons. One of the ways we learn how to do something right is simply by doing it wrong. The next place to learn is from other people's experiences, whether they've done it right or wrong. All leaders are readers. Like the most successful people have in common is that they are constantly reading and learning and have an endless curiosity. Start a library. Don't just read easy stuff. You won't grow, change, or develop. The Bible is a great book because it has both examples and warnings through its stories. Be a good student by keeping a separate journal and writing all your notes down from books. A journal is one of the best things to leave behind when you're gone. It's not what happens, it's what you do about it that matters. It's not what happens, it's what you do about it that matters. You can't change the seasons, but you can change yourself. Money. We get paid to bring value to the marketplace. Learn to work harder on yourself than your job. Learn to work harder on yourself than your job. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenge. Wish for more wisdom. Learn how to take advantage of the spring, aka opportunity. Everyone has to get good at one of two things, planting in the spring or begging in the fall. Learn how to nourish and protect your crops all summer. Prevent the intruder from taking the goods, a major skill to learn. Two key phrases. Number one, all good will be attacked. And number two, all values must be defended. Learn how to reap in the fall without complaint. Take full responsibility for what happens to you. Take full responsibility for what happens to you. It is the highest form of human maturity. 
Success is not something you pursue. It is something you become. It's not what happens. It's what people do that makes the difference. Get excited about your ability to do the necessary things. Discipline. Important rule, take care of yourself. Some people don't do well simply because they don't feel well. Make sure the outside is a major reflection of what's going on inside. If you do believe in spirituality, study it and practice it regularly. The five abilities to develop. Number one, the ability to absorb. Not only the words and knowledge, but the atmosphere, experience and what's going on. Don't just get through the day, get from it. Learn from it and let it teach you. Learn from the university of life. Number two, learn to respond. Let life touch you, both sad things, happy things, and everything in between. Give in to the emotion and let it strike you. Our emotions need to be educated as well as our intellect. It's important to know how to feel and respond. Number three, learn the ability to reflect. Take a half day at the end of the month to reflect. Take a weekend at the end of every year to reflect. Take a few hours to reflect at the end of the week. Learning to gather up the past and invest it into the future. Self-sacrifice is not noble, but self-development is. Think about how much you can give back when you develop yourself and not sacrifice yourself, which only produces contempt. Number four, develop the ability to act. Develop the ability to act. Set up the discipline when the intent and motivation and inspiration is high. Every letdown affects the rest of your performance. Every new discipline affects the rest. Make rest a necessity, not an objective. Number five, develop the ability to share. If you learn a good idea today, pass it along. Pour in and giving out what you know to others, expand your own capacity so that you can hold more of the next experience. To be the greatest and most powerful is a worthy ambition, as long as it's done at the service of many. Service to many leads to great wealth, recognition, satisfaction. Service to many leads to great wealth. If you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. Zig Ziglar. Financial independence is the ability to live from the income of your own personal resources. Richest man in Babylon. The theme is that you do with what you have is more important than what you have. What you do with your money says a lot about you. Don't think if you had more money, you would have a better plan. In reality, if you had a better plan, you would have more money. It's not the amount that counts. It's the plan that counts. It's not what you allocate. It's how you allocate it. Spend 70% of your net. Use 10% on charity. 10% on engaging in the marketplace with buying, fixing, selling, and some sort of hobby. Use 10% on investing in the marketplace. Keep strict financial accounts so you know where it all goes. It's not the amount that counts, it's what it represents of your life that counts. Ask yourself, who am I around and what are they doing to me in terms of influence? All you need to do is get around a person with a better plan and adopt it for anything whether it be health or finances or anything else. Pity the man who has a favorite restaurant, but not a favorite thinker. We all need associations with people of substance to provide influence concerning major issues. Strive to become the kind of person that people of quality and substance would want to be associated with. Becoming a person of skillful language, positive attitude, well-read and well-disciplined, a person of culture and intelligence. We are all affected by five factors, environment, events, knowledge, results, view of the future. Of all the five influences, make sure your dreams are the greatest influence on your daily decisions and activities. Make sure the greatest pull on you is the pull of the future. Make sure the greatest pull on you is the pull of the future. Well-defined goals are like a magnet. The harder you work on them, the stronger the pull. Regardless of talent, if you had enough reasons, you can accomplish anything. Ask yourself, what has you turned on? His mentor said to set a goal to become a millionaire for what it will make of you to achieve it. Set a goal that will make you stretch that far. It's not the goal itself. It's what it will make of you to achieve it. 
The greatest value in life is not what you get. The greatest value is what you become. Don't set your goals too low. Don't join an easy crowd. You won't grow. Go where the expectations are high. Go where the demands are high. Go where the pressure is on to perform. Key idea. The greatest source of unhappiness is self-unhappiness. The greatest source of unhappiness comes from inside, not outside. Goal setting questions. What do I want in the next 1 to 10 years? Make a list of 50 things you want. Write a number next to the goal corresponding to how many years it will take to achieve it. The way you enjoy life best is when you wrap up a goal, why you immediately start on the next. Include three types of goals. Number one, financial and economic, income, profits, productivity. Number two, material, tangibles like a home, car, boat, jewelry, etc. And number three, personal development goals, physical, lose weight, be more decisive, perfect and a leader and a communicator, learn another language, etc. Next step, pick out the four most important one-year goals four most important three-year goals, four most important five-year goals, and four more important 10-year goals. Describe in detail each or one of these 16 goals on paper. Describe why each goal is important to either talk to yourself into or talk yourself out of it. Set aside time every week to review, reevaluate, and edit your goals. Short-term range goals, achievable in one year, are called confidence builders. It is very important to celebrate progress. Celebrate when you check off a short-range or long-range goal. We grow from two experiences, the joy of winning and the pain of losing. Goals should be fun, big, challenging, rewarding, allow you to grow. Ask, what kind of person do I have to become to get all I want to? This will help you write out a personal development goal. Don't just learn how to earn, learn how to live. Don't just learn how to earn learn how to live. This is what lifestyle is all about. One of the great challenges of life, being happy with what you have while in pursuit of what you want. Key idea, more money will only make you more of what you already are. The key to happiness is not more. Happiness is an art to be studied and practiced. More money will only more quickly send you to your destination. If we don't go for the higher taste, we will settle for the lower ones. Develop an appreciation for the fine. Develop and appreciate for the unique things in life. Study the art and reach for the best. Sophisticated people ensure a good service by giving the tip up front. This is how tips originally were invented. Give the tip up front, not at the end. The good life is not an amount. It is an attitude, an act, an idea, a discovery, a search. It comes from a lifestyle that is fully developed regardless of bank accounts so that it provides you with a constant sense of joy and living and fuels the fires of commitment to all the disciplines and fundamentals that make life worthwhile. The negative is not to be ignored. It is to be mastered. You've got to learn to do battle with the enemies on the outside and the inside. Advice. Welcome all experiences. Welcome all experiences. You never know which one is going to turn everything on. Resolve says, I will. Two of the most powerful words in the language, I will. Resolve means promising yourself you will never give up. Advice, learn to help people with their lives, not just their jobs. Help them with their goals and dreams, their future with errors and mistakes. If you work on your gifts, they will make room for you. Questions to ponder. Why do something? Why not? Why not you? And that's a wrap on The Art of Exceptional Living by Jim Ron. Subscribe to our channel and take a look at the hundreds of book summaries uploaded previously. To find hundreds of written summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. And for hundreds of audio podcast summaries, find us on mixcloud.com forward slash bestbookbits. Like and share if you got something from this summary and comment on what one thing stood out for you. Thanks for watching and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.